Um, Omri, there, there was a panel uh, at New School yesterday uh, in New York City uh, on anti-Semitism in the United States with some protest outside because one of the panelists was uh, Palestinian-American activist Linda Sarsour. Uh, she's been called an anti-Semite. She, of course, denies it vehemently. And yesterday she called uh, to dismantle anti-Semitism. Those, those are her words. What are, what are your thoughts on this? Do, do you believe Linda Sarsour when she says something like that? Listen, the New School event was a disgrace. Linda Sarsour has no place uh, commenting on anti-Semitism. This is a person who uh, foments hatred against Jews. Uh, this is a person who denies the right of Israel to exist, certainly the world's only Jewish state. Uh, it was a disgrace. The, the focus of the real story behind that panel is not uh, were there calls for dismantling anti-Semitism or not. It's uh, why the New School thought that this would be a productive thing to do. And we actually know why the New School thought it. They said that uh, they accept all views on anti-Semitism when they were criticized by major media outlets and by Jewish outlets, including Tablet Magazine that did fantastic work calling out this event. Uh, and their response was, well, you know, we want to hear from all voices on anti-Semitism, both presumably both the anti-Semites and people who are against the anti-Semites, which is ridiculous. It's a disgrace. Mark, was New School wrong to hold this panel with a person like Linda Sarsour? I think so. I mean, I think, first, this whole issue of intersectionality, I think it's called, where you're trying to say, well, if you oppress one thing, you oppress something else, then you have to oppress the oppressed Palestinians, and therefore it's all oppression and everything else is mm -hmm. one thing. Very problematic, but from a Jewish perspective. More importantly, look, the roots of anti-Semitism are twofold. They're very strong now on the right, and they're very strong on the left. You can't separate them out so easily, but you have to try your best. Mm -hmm. There's a problem of nativism in the United States. That's the rise of anti-Semitism on the right, and it's getting stronger and stronger. On the left, it's extreme anti-Israelness, and the moment you deny Israel's right to exist, then it's anti-Semitic. Daniel? You know, I, I reviewed Linda Sarsour's tweets today, going back to 2011. I believe she honestly believes she's not anti-Semitic. However, there is an international definition of anti-Semitism. And in that definition, it includes singling Israel out for a double standard different than any other country in the world. And she does that. So whether she thinks it's anti-Semitic or not, this definition has been adopted by most of the Western world, which means Western civiliz civilization believes that those particular actions are anti-Semitic. It's not something that means all things to all people. It has a definition.